<laughs> Pause, Shen? I'm unspoiled. No spoilers, by the way. Very cool. 8.0? Very cool. Very cool. New Frontiers. Very cool, very cool. Kane of Pain in my loo hole. Dixus, thank you. Any resub today? Okay. Sea Frogs PC Pepe a laugh. What's happening? Hello, sir. Watch, I can watch you on the map to secure exhibition for your team. Where do I even start? Roshan's new home. New map, so they changed map. Start at one. Roshan's new home, top left. One of the two new Roshan pits that replaces Old River. Ready, people giggles. Oh, so it's Shranas, you can't camp it now. Go to the site. Someone link it. Link the site. The twin gates. Two gates connect the corners of the map near the safe lane. This and this are to Roche, okay. Allow players to channel and teleport from one edge to another. Oh, that's pretty big, I guess. Lotus Pool. Lotus Pool apparently spawn healing lotus that grants mana and HP. Are there two of them? Very cool. Very cool. Let me see the map changes first. So, Lotus and Tormentors. Battle two new bosses that appear after 20 minutes. Called it. Called it. Yo mama so fat that she it appears the uh, after 20 minutes. They're equipped time. with mega shields and drop items shard. Uh, also, Watchers, which is all over the map. All over the map. Activate Watchers around the map to secure extra vision for your team. Sabotage Watchers your enemy claims to temporarily disable them. League of Dota. <laughs> New patch equal League of Legends. Every fucking patched. They removed wards. Uh, that sounds like a spoiler, little bro. Like Contrix, I'm gonna have to give you a one minute ban. No spoilers. Uh, I'm going to read the patch note, so I will eventually get to that. A handy force field around... A handy force field around the back of your base that lets your team through and keeps enemy out. What the fuck? Wisdom runes. They're located here. Explore the edge of the map to an honor of wisdom runes, which grants XP boost to any hero who grabs one. Wisdom runes spawn near your base, offering an easy defend way to keep a losing game from spinning out of control. Yeah, but enemy also has it. Shield runes? Where? Where's the shield runes? River rune power, river power runes also get an ad addition with the beefy new shield rune. Which gives 50% of your max HP as a shield. Dive a tower for a kill in early game or walk up blind. Nice, my killable build. Nice. New creep spawns. Camps. Some of the creeps got tired of getting butchered all the time in the jungle and have established 12 new camps scattered throughout this expanded map. So you're not going to butcher them there too. New outposts. The new expanding map features two new outposts. Hero highlights. What the fuck is this? While all heroes have been balanced, some have been balanced more than others. We're calling out a few of those here. Muerta. After two months of haunting the lanes, 
Muerta has finally found her again in Scepter and Shard. If you haven't checked her out yet, learn more over at the Dead Reckoning update. Nice. I hate Marta. Uh, it's a boring hero. Hopefully, the axe or shard will make her fun. Bring out your dead. Silence duration reduced, duration decreased. I'll make the most of it. Uh, level to max. I get shard. They'll Which? What against spell lifesteal during Pierce of Whale? Oh no. That's boring. While Pierce of Whale is active, Worth of Permanent gains 2% spell amp for each time she kills an enemy hero. So this is a right click shard that's boring as hell. Ags, however, makes her into utility. Worth of precisely shoots. There's always more to shoot. Perma stunt. Shoots a hero in their soul, separating it from their physical body and knocking it 50, 150 units away. The soul is untargetable, muted, disarmed, and invulnerable for seconds. The body is stunned and has 50% damage reflection. As the fact ends, the hero's soul is forcefully returned to their body, applying a strong dispel. The soul will survive until the end of the effect. Huh? Long have I stalked these lands. I gust onward. Find the right moment. What's the point of the soul? Already moving. Forget it. <laughs> you spells with the soul? When I was alive. I don't have a bot. By God, as the arrow flies. What the On fuck? It. it seems okay. I don't want to cast on my own teammates. <laughs> you can grieve for this. It goes on CD for her. I go. Yes, of I... course. Can't control it in game. Phantom footsteps. Well, it seems boring anyway, and I hate the hero. Clinks, however, what the fuck is this? Jeez, hero highlights. If you're working jump, you can save them long enough to also you can save your teammates. Okay, he's on the teammates. Come. Games with spells. I'm not ready. There you go. I know oh. this trail. More damage. Strength. Searing arrows ability removed. Strafe. Oh, hell no. Oh my god. You can Let's kill W. Now instead it does this. Yes. Throws the projector filled with tar at the target enemy, dealing magic damage on impact. After impact, the tar spills onto the ground and stays for 5 seconds. Any enemy that walks across it gets slowed and attacks from Clink's or his burning army. The physical damage. Yes. What? Fight the way. <laughs> I go. I swear it. On my way. Okay, so they do way more damage. Where to? For me as well. Boom. On target. It's fire arrows instead. Bonus damage. It slows and does impact damage. Yes. This is the same? No, it's just the old one. Gives attack speed. Longer range. Any kind of person within 200 radius also gains uh, the bonus attack range and 50% of attack speed bonus. Wow. They go like this. Straight pretty pog, actually. Wait. The inverse is. Mm. 
Wolf the shun. What does that mean? Any duck on enemy covering tower will send another arrow into a random enemy within Clink's attack range. Better to run than curse the road. Okay, they don't need to be in it. Good for Gandhi built. An axe is the same, and burning barrage is just shard now. So you needed to farm, I guess? How do you farm with this here now? Indeed. As a base signal has two charges, and for a second recharge time, and now creates a burning sphere in place of a kill creep. Only one skeleton from this volcano exists at a time. They hit buildings? Very cool, very cool. Arc Warden, fuck this hero. Arcan, uh, Arc Warden used to create a perfect clone of himself, but now he creates a better version of himself, or worse. Either way, it's different. <gasps> All Tempest double abilities are replaced with Tempest version of Arc abilities. The people has attuned Arc Warden to the Ancients. When playing on Dire Side, Arc Warden will have a Tempest abilities by default, and his Tempest double will have its normal abilities. This condition is temporary and will go away once sets adapts to the new paradigm. What? It has different builds depending on what side. Kings now uh, can use abilities of creeps through the talent tree. Yeah, but who does that? Tempest version. Okay, let's just test it, I guess. Arc Warden. From fragments into fuller units. Tempest double. Increase version speed and slow duration. Decrease activation time. Ever forward. Allies gain bonus attack range and deal bonus magic damage with their attacks. Duration is increased. Move speed is slowed is decreased, but damage is increased. Taste my arrow. Beneath a tree. 19, but with this, boom. There's clinks in here to try out. I will try out all of them. Uh, cool on, yada yada. Wait, is this just is a buff? Or what? I'm way ahead. Seeking. Tempest version provide higher damage, but lower movement speed. Isn't this just better now? Yes. What a change to ogre. Primary attribute change to strength, thank you. That's confusing. How the hell was this an intero? Now he's strength. Strength increased. Base int increased to zero, because he's an idiot. How the fuck was this guy an int? Zero int gain. Always a zero intelligence. Always. Base mana increased. Base damage decreased. Okay, you can't get a spell. Dumb luck, new innate ability. Max innate is zero. Ogre magic Ogre Magi receives six points of maximum mana. Uh, too much text. The self. The I stupid. Because it's passive. Ogre's max intelligence is zero. He received mana and mana drain from strength. Increase multi gas chance by 1% for each 20 strength. Oh, yes. Seems like an abuse build. So how much does a bracer give? 0 0.1 mana region. <laughs> Wait, what if I buy mana boots? That works. What if I buy hex? He gives like no mana because he gives mana from strength. I'll do legs this time. Okay. Okay, what else did I change? When it affects multiplies over 0%, so the 4 will want to trigger on level 1, etc. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Each, okay, okay, only affects multipliers over 0%. Yes, so you can't get 4x. 
You need to have level four or three in it. Yes, yes. We're realistic damage strength better. twenty. Yep. I said, please tell me it upgrades so it doesn't show! Dude, fucking okay. show it! It says 15%, but it's not. Because I've. Uh, where's my strength? 164. That's 8% more. So you're telling me I have 23% multicast? Is that really. That sounds like a lot. Throw in a heart. 25%. Lazy, that's lazy. It's quite a lot. Boom. That seems like a pretty big buff. Sunration nerfed. Yes, yes, so far. We'll add the list as well. Uh, we'll just add all these. We'll try. Uh, I don't want to play them out. The Clinks. Arc Warden Ogre. Anyone else? Do so. Base strength increases zero. Strength increases zero. Try to use right click build. Uh, that's a spoiler. Mana costs reduced. Scepter stone. Nerfed ability rework. Now a passive ability. This is the same. This is cheaper. Does more damage. So it's buffed overall. Run, vermin. Uh, passive. Creates a shield that is over 98% of incoming damage in exchange for reduces mana. Provides mana. What? You're literally unkillable. 120 life. Where well, you can axe just kill her? <laughs> Cut and run. The Gorgon's gaze will petrify them all. Lol. Absorbed 98%. Wait, you don't level this anymore? You do. Damage per mana. Now if a hero has mana burst shield ability, their mana bar will be visible to enemies. Now also observe HP loss type. She's unkillable. It's five levels. Wait, what the fuck? Quick as a snake. She's unkillable. We're adding an unkillable do so. Fight for honor. Yeah, they had on a stone gaze. It's done nerfed. Uh, Ultra is a hero like Ultra is now innately greedy. Cast point reduced, cooldown reduced, duration nerfed. Yo, okay, if this you is say Alchemist, to farming. one more time, I'm fucking on farm, less done. Now an innate ability. Max bonus gold per kill. Per kill. To 18 on all levels. Bounty multiplier, 2 on all levels. HP region increased. Okay, and a new thing. Let's see the new. Al Al Alchemist. Alchemist. My skin. Okay, new ability. So everything is the same pretty much. This farms better. But now we have this, a passive. Coats his weapon with an acid that applies a stacking, slow, and citrus in to enemies. Oh my god, is this perma stun? This might be an attack speed basher build. A 
If I have this, watch your heels. And a basher. We have Octarine Core. Let's reduce cooldown on this. Wait, was this nerfed? Stun duration. Yep. It's embarrassing. Shake it. Not much different, so I guess. Something crazy new. New items for all your personal needs. Blood grenade. Okie dokie. Give me 50 health. Thank you. Cost life to okay, throw. Okay. Throw a grenade on the target area. Enemies in the area will take 50 damage and impact and be slowed by 50% and take 15 damage every one second, 15 seconds. That seems like a very good gank item, holy shit. What is it? What's the total? 125 damage? Huh? Which damage type? It doesn't say. I'm going, I'm going. Is Already this moving. magic? Seems very good. Very good. Diadem, six tall attributes for 1,000 gold. <laughs> that sounds complete garbage. But obviously it's built into something. To be fair, orb is even worse. What the fuck is orbs? That's 10 for... Yeah, that's terrible. It builds into a lot of stuff. Harpoon, Phycolacteri. Yeah, yeah. Cornop can they come up with a better name, please? Something you can pronounce. Cornucopia. Uh -huh. So these are all terrible. They just build into stuff. Pay vice. Three armor. Mana region. Health. When cast an ally, grants them a physical damage barrier that absorbs their damage. Nice. Over there! Hey, Vice, does it build into anything? That so now way. supposedly need to buy a Force of Glimmer. You know, can you also buy this? You can't even put it on yourself. Wait, what is this? You heard him. Oh, you can see the shield. Huh? 300 damage. That sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. It's your little tank, it gives you mana region. I'm gonna buy this yeah. every game. You can't die with it. You can't even buy it on core, you can use it on yourself. That thing's broken. Mixing you can it stack up. them. Capac builds incoming. As the arrow flies, I gust on To battle! You lied. Start reacting! You lied to me. To the enemy! I'm gonna buy this every game. Uh, buy, buy pay vice every game. The three new big items. Three health, two mana, seven stats. The next unit targets, the next unit target spell you cast on an enemy deals a separate bonus damage and slows. What? Easy now. Huh? This stuff is explosive. Sue Sadam. Like Sue Sky. So that would be target. You cast. So it okay. can't be for teammates. Local. It's very low cooldown. Good day to fire. What? Oh, it's not an active. I'm retarded. It's passive. Oh, it's cooldown based. Oh yes, now I understand. I understand now. 
That seems very right good. On. That seems very good on a lot of heroes. Pretty sure this will get nerfed. That seems broken. Harpoon. Attack speed, damage, strength, agility. Int, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they literally copy. Now, this hey, is copy from 1x6. This is a straight up copy. Yes! Already moving! <laughs> it seems way worse, though. Yep. It's not instant, but it's. Uh, Echo Saber is a great item, but it doesn't build into anything, so it's kind of bad. But now you can build in something. Is there anything. Echo Strike gets buffed, it slows slightly longer. Cool on. Doesn't say. It's Stay probably charging. the same. Mm -hmm. You can't get kited anymore. Uh -huh. You can blink while doing it. What? Blink dagger. Less walking is good. Let's go. You're lying. Seems very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Last item is bad. Pause jump. Agility. In damage. For agilities. Maybe. If target if targeting is an active and a passive. Okay. So it's just you a fusial. Diffusial. Now built into something. Diffusion is a great item. It doesn't build into anything. Now it does. Watch your step. This is unchanged. The passive is exactly the same, but it dispels, which is very good. What do I have to pay for? The demon edge and recipe. Watch where you're going. So it's exactly the same, but it dispels and has an active. If targeting an enemy, what is this targeting? Targets an enemy, slowing it. Yes, that's it. Same cooldown. Now cost mana. <laughs> if targeting an enemy, it slows it for four seconds. Both moves speed reduction and in an increase start at 100% and gradually decrease to zero. On my way. Go, go, go. Isn't that exactly the same? The Slow part is exactly the same. Yes, it's more text. If targeting an ally, five basic spells increase your movement speed by hundred percent. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's pretty good. Stop. So now you can chase way more effectively, and you can escape way better. Very cool, very cool. It makes him unslowable for a second. His move speed buff is increased. Yes. Stir it up. Disperser. Anything else? New neutrals. Tier one. Two new tier ones. Ten more. Da ten damage. Grants fifteen attack as long as there is an enemy heroes within nine hundred units. Sounds pretty bad. Provides 10 damage when the hero is above 50% health and 5 armor when they're below. That sounds pretty bad. 1 new tier 2. 20 My movement speed. The reason here is to spam Beppe dead. I'm going to dodge time. an attack from an enemy hero. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. 3 new tier 3. Uh, five armor, seven stats. When attacked, the hero counters attack the targets within their attack range. Five second cooldown. Okay. 25 attack speed, passive, provides 30 damage if equipped hero is silenced. And 15 armor if the equipped hero is stunned. Okay, seems like a pretty good Mask of Madness. Faceless Void, Mask of Madness, this is pretty abuse. 
Bulls maybe 25. Bonus mama 300. Passive. Tosin colon. If Tosin can block up to theoretic damage from a damage instance over 75 damage. Wait. Tiptoe now. Up. You're shaking my brew. Dan. On it. As the arrow flies. Number one. We got some colon. Uh, but this is three year three added. Most people have level four spells, so probably will block a uh, high amount. Matchmaking. I love matchmaking. Time to go pro. Matchmaking. Let's be honest. There are eight billion people on the planet, and ninety nine point nine nine percent of them are terrible at Dota. This means matchmaking can be a challenge, especially if you're good at Dota, and like playing with people who are almost but hopefully not quite as good at Dota as you are. We've done a bunch of work and a bunch of math to improve the quality of our matchmaking across the board, for players of all skills levels. Nice! Does this include unranked? Matchmaking with confidence. Matchmaking rating is really just made of two numbers, rank and rank confidence. Your rank is an estimate of your skill, and your rank confidence is our confidence in that estimate. When you play a match, we adjust your rank based on whether you win or lose. Your rank confidence also goes up, because now we have more data. Undesired clumping, the worst kind of clumping. Dota has traditionally used a modified version of the ELO algorithm to implement rank and rank confidence changes. But over time we've noticed a few problems with our approach. For one example, the distribution of MMRS has gradually shifted lower, causing an undesired clumping in the 0-1000 MMR range. Another problem was that players who took a break and returned were having a hard time getting back to an accurate MMR, because their previous skill level was no longer representative. Miss an item. Yes, yes, spam more please. Uh, 20 mana resistance. Active, 40 seconds. Redirect 20% of all damage dealt to your uh, to your allied heroes within 900 radius towards you. Nice. New and improved clumping. New and improved clumping. To address this, we're switching to a different algorithm called Glico, which should let you quickly and accurately get matched with other players at a similar skill level. On the math side, Glico lets us better factor a player's rank confidence into our calculations, resulting in more accurate decisions about rank gains and losses. The switch to our new matchmaking system will feel a little like the start of a new matchmaking season. All players will be placed back into a short calibration mode, initially seated by their previous rank. Calibration is no longer a fixed number of matches. Instead, a player is considered calibrated whenever their rank confidence is above a certain threshold. Upon calibration, it is likely that you will end up with a different medal than you had before. However, even if your medal changes significantly, you should expect to be matched with players of a similar skill level. Matches will no longer have a fixed MMR gain loss. It will be variable based on a number of factors, including the ranks and rank confidence of the participants. However, we will cap the gain loss per match to prevent particularly negative outcomes. A player's rank confidence will slowly lower over time if the player does not play matches. We've been running both matchmaking systems simultaneously behind the scenes for a while now to help us build confidence in these changes. We understand that accurate MMR is only one of many factors that impact match quality, and like all changes in this space we're interested in hearing your feedback. Where's my rank? I'm immortal. Immortal! Immortal matchmaking? Immortal matchmaking. At immortal rank, knowing the other players, Gelling with them, and choosing a nice balance of roles is more important than just MMR. So we've redesigned matchmaking at the Immortal level to account for that. Matches in the Immortal ranks won't use pre-made teams anymore. Instead, two captains will get to draft the other eight players onto each team, making <laughs> your team more impactful than if you just relied on MMR to assign lineups. So if your match sucks now, 
You've got no one to blame but yourselves, immortals. <laughs> Getting picked last. Insta griefing. Pick all carries. User interface. Blurry vision and shooting pains down your arm? Our advice is ignore it. That's just your body's way of saying it's hungry. Got a flat tire? Drive on the rim. It's still round. The point is, pretty much everything in life can be safely ignored without consequence. Except dotted health bars. That stuff is important. Which is why a bunch of health-related eye info is getting a massive upgrade with this update. Half of barriers, did you know that all that shields, magic shields, physical shields, apothic shields, all sorts of shields. Also we made shields to barriers, you're confused thinking uh, there's a vanguard on your health bar. Okay. We lol now. <laughs> New Dota patch, we lol now. Every fucking time. I IQ 30. <laughs> okay, now I can see how many hits you need to kill. Health cost is now in red. Dota made a change. We lol now. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I can see if it costs health and mana. Very cool. Very cool. Balancing changes. Balance changes. That's a huge list of stuff up there. The only thing that could possibly make it better is two huge lists of stuff. But where are we going to find? Hey, would you look at this? Read on for all of the other balance changes this update has in store. Or just jump right into the game and play. Believe us, we don't need you to tell us how fun reading technical manuals about video games is, but man, playing them is a pretty close second. This list will still be here when you get back. Very cool, we already read the map changes. Expanded all varieties of the map. Edit twin gates already read, remove Roche. Editor Roche pits at the yes, yes, yes. While well, going to the location, which has 200 bonus movement speed. Wait, what? Roshan uses a twin gish for another pit. That's 200 movement speed. Facebook's in the two activities. Okay, yes. More armor. HP per minute increased. Yes, to your mentor. I mean, I don't know, I need to read all these. Just play the game already. Here's your perma ban. Enjoy. It's for you. Uh, the tormentors, right? They spawn at twenty. Tormentors one health. Twenty armor. Which is okay. Uh, we'll learn this later, I think. We already read it. Is there anything? That's uh, 75 seconds. How long will you repeat until all different rooms have spawned? The first rune after the next cycle is always different from the last rune. No longer repeat until all different rooms have spawned. Okay, so you can kind of predict what rune you're going to get. Long guys experience this. Add a two more outposts at the edge of the map. What's the point of outposts then? Are you just to TP to or what? Just TP. Eight watchers, two lotus pools every three minutes. Each lotus will spawn one healing lotus. New near curls. Units are granted buff. Okay. Universal heroes. Add a new type of uh, attributes for us. Universal. Universal heroes don't have primary attribute, but get 0.6 damage per. Point of each attribute. Can we have to also like seven random heroes for, uh, from each attribute? What? Laundry is a universal hero. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know if someone's universal. Is 
the hand the universal? No, I can see there. Okay. Are you universal? Are you universal? Into war. I'm way team. ahead. She's universal. This is so confusing. Why? Let me add if it gives you dead. damage. That's it. From that attribute. Okay, that change is confusing. Disable reduction. Duration of the measure is everything reduced. Debuff immunity. Spell immunity reworked into the debuff immunity. Debuff immunity is different in three major ways. The spell application, debuff protection, and damage reduction. Well, I don't use PKB, so I don't need this to know this. Other, change gold bounty for lane creeps. Mana creeps increase per upgrade, decrease from 1 to 0. Range creep gold decreased. Okay, you give away less gold over time. Assist gives more gold, I guess. All units now gain 50 moves speed during the night. All units. Wait, does that include heroes or creeps? What does that mean? Is that every single thing? Effect is double for heroes, but it can be broken for five seconds upon attacking or taking damage from player control sources. Oh, is so it just a gank more during night? Double for heroes, but it can be broken for five seconds upon attacking or taking damage. So if you're like, do do do, I farm the lane, hitting creeps. Enemies are coming and they're getting 30 movement speed faster. Base your HP decreased. By 80 health? Mm, HP per point of strength. Soapy? Thank you. I'm almost done with the patch notes. I'm going to play soon. I'm going to show you how to play. I know you're struggling. HP per point of strength increased. In terms of now grants 0.1 base magic resistance. Okay, what does a guild give? Damage immunity is now calculated before any damage reduction. Huh? Magic barriers are now calculated with magic resistance. Huh? What does that mean? If someone does 400 damage and I have 400 magic shield. Shields are best better. It counts magic resistance, so the 400 damage spell does actually way less. Yes, yes, of course. The HUD has been updated to display current barrier values. Added support for your damage barriers. Blah, 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 blah. Add a special health power to display hero attacks needed to destroy. Okay. The HUD now shows attack speed and magic resistance stat in the portrait at all times. Oh, so that's what so the attack speed is. This is attack speed. Hand attack speed. Here we go. And magic resistance. What's that you say? Everyone has 1% more, or slightly more now. Because they're int. And now I can see when I max as well. A measured pace. I'm getting any. Nice, nice. Most multiple negative effects of the same type from different builds now will show separate debuffs. In every instance. Example, if you're a clockwork and you stun with hookshock and battery assault, two separate debuffs will show. Stay home, game on. Half cost now shown. Mana cost reduction effects now only apply to mana cost. Target W no longer is int. Neutral creeps. All neutral creeps uh, have four levels of certain abilities. Abilities are upgraded to level 2, I mean 15, level 3, 30. And when is the max one? Chance item shot increase the level of following abilities by 1, allowing them to reach level 4. Okay. You rush axe, you get 40 gold. Basically, if you take over creeps, these scales now, and they're not as useless. 
24% movement speed or hold up. That is quite a lot. That seems pretty broken. In an AoE. Okay, there are a lot of zoo broken builds now. Steel weapon. Five second disarm on an enemy carry. What the fuck? Uh, Inventor weapon damage per second. Uh -huh, scale. These are not that important. A break. Don't care. Is there anything that's broken? Heal that. Lone no. Druid mega buffs pog. No. Slow. Nah. Take off. Nah. Nah. That's quite a lot. This can be used to push creeps. That seems very good to push with. Or rat. Smash. Good luck getting that off. Ogre armor, this can maybe be broken. Nine armor. 37, 37, that's kind of good. Only crit. No, no, no. No, irrelevant. This is definitely broken. Get a centaur with Shen. 23%. Throwing a pipe. Centaur. 24% from this other guy. It's broken. The Underlord Shan abuse is even better now. More health. Significantly more health. Sig almost double the damage. Not only cares raised when below 50% health. As and Stan, this might be decent. No, no, no. Mana burn, maybe this is good. I don't know. No, no, no. Duration rescaled, magic amp, uh, this spell is garbage. Corner reduction, 14%. Uh, this, might, this might be good. Throw that in your aura, creeps with Shen. Reduce corner reduction, 14% for everyone. 21% where he life. Is this individual stock or is this shared stock? Anyone know? Team shared. Shame. What a shame. All right, we're gonna check these items. We're gonna look at these items. We can skip. Last initial and max stack of four and a restock time of 120. Is this enough to Shadow Fiend? How much do you usually sort of like three or four? This is a big nerf to Shadow Fiend abusers, right? Because they usually sort of three or four and then they say none more. Fuck them. Pepper laugh. Fuck SF. Same here. Uh, wait, why does this matter? This, this one seems relevant. Not sure why this would matter. Same for all though. Wait, it's four for all team? Wait, no, there's no way it's shared. This is not shared, is it? Wait, is this shared with the team? Shared? Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> okay, then this is a massive nerf. Not sure how much tango. Most players buy one, maybe two tangos. So this doesn't matter. I don't think these matter a lot. This means that harassing in lane is way better. You can't just spam out region anymore. So harassing in lane is way better. And this makes SF cry giga hard. Item room from the game. Kick shook. Does appearance reworked. Rebuild work. Now creates an area that reveals. Slow invisible units by 20% in a radius where the caster was standing. Reveal units take 25% uh, 20 damage. 25. This seems way worse. Debuff lingers on enemy I miss heroes. Your sexy body, sir. Thanks for the in-depth patch analysis, Wait. BTW. What the fuck? Less than three. I'm chasing Rick and I hit him. The effect will linger. So it's fine. 
But anyone going in, so it's a buff. It's a buff, right? It seems like a big buff. Done. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Is the radius smaller? 1050. Any actually, guys, what was the radius before? Usually it's 1200. Is the radius smaller or the same? Any actually, guys? Yes. Same. And you cancel their blink. This is a massive buff. It's a huge buff, and it costs the same. Aye. The debuff effect lingers. Wait, let me just test. Enemy. Riki. Where is he? Uh, post haste. Uh, level max. Show your invis. Okay, your invis. Go here. So if I go this, it's gonna go into it like a retard. I see. Hello? Yes. I lost him. Done. Ricky's bugged. On it. Oh, it also works on if you're not in this already. If I rock in, of course. I'm seen and slowed, and it lingers if I go into it. Okay, this is a massive buck. What the fuck? Or buff? It's a huge buff, this item. Max luck reduced, restock time increased. Smoke. Allies affected uh, by smoke. Can't use smoke to see themselves. Oh, hallelujah. Fucking mega cack wasting smokes. Hallelujah to retards all around the world. Ring of Health. This seems like a huge buff. Wait, what? Why would you not just buy Ring of Health in every lane now? Slightly less heal? That seems very good. Cloak increase. Caused by a lot, 5% more. Removed from the game, kick shook. What the fuck? So how do I leave my pipe? I buy this. Uh-huh. Okay. Recipe chain no longer has hood. Now cloak, 800. Ogre axe and ring of health and recipe. Total cost unchanged. Provides 30 medication, strength, health. Better for my unkillable build. No longer has an active ability. Now passively converts 25 of the incoming magic or pure damage to mana. Oh my god. Magic uh, resistance and passive effects don't stack. That's so good. That's so good. Total costs changed by 100. Magic resistance bonus decreased. Aura decreased. Burr, you're not stacked digitally with other sources. Nerf the stun duration. Don't need to go over this too hard. Your stun reduced. Total cost unchanged. Taking everything from Roshan Enemy Heroes now mutes the item for three seconds instead of setting it for three seconds cooldown. What? So you can't refresh it? Or what? What does that mean? <laughs> Is this a tinker nerf? <laughs> Tinker <laughs> Kek G <laughs> Buff the three big blinks. Arcane okay, Blink no longer carries uh, no longer provides mana costs. And cast them during debuff implication. Okay, instead cool and reduce to seven seconds. Longer range. Seven seconds. Wow. That seems pretty big. SF, yeah, this is SF, but that was uh, super broken. I'm blinking, but SF installed to fear everyone, you win the fight. That's garbage. 
Uh, good game design is where you like your enemy does something and you can react to it. Uh, Arcane Blink, as a blink in, you insult, you can't react to it, you lose fight. That's bad design. It's gone. Thank you. Taking number from any Roche, same, same. Total cost unchanged, now change. Boros is the same, same. Wait, no, it's a different sword. What's the fucking items? Alright, it was uh, Perseverance. What the fuck is Corncopia? Corn. Okay. It makes laning harder for those here because they rush. Bring your health, I guess. That's nice. BKB, we looked. Uh, I don't really care about chains because I don't buy it. Damage bonus decreased. Okay, one more armor. No one cares. More defensive. Total cost on change. Cornucopia. Damage bonus. So you really want to buy this on int heroes now. A lot of agility heroes buy this. And a lot of right click. Now you kind of want to be in. You lose 20 damage if you're a right clicker. Or a non-int hero. That's pretty big. Total cost on change. Provides health region. Int. Bonus. Damage. Soul and alone costs attacks on the target to have 100% chance of crit. Still provides true strike. Additional damage dealt to the target of end of it increased. Very cool. Cheaper, less region. Oh, unkillable build. Guard block damage rescale from 75 to 70 plus 60% of Kaiser's strength. Actually unkillable build. Nice. Literally unkillable. I need to write down items as well, actually. BKB viable now. Item Pavis every game because broken. Unkillable Crimson Guard Strength. Dagon finally buffed. Recipe changed. Now requires diadem. Wooden mask recipe. Cost is more expensive. The initial one, but it gets cheaper. Int replaced with just all stats. Now it provides spell life steal. Any person of spell life steal similar to the damage done. Wait, it's called energy burst. What? Is that what the ability is called? Energy burst? Now spell life steals. It's a tank item for those casters. Meeple players lose two strength. And the blast will use secret of the total sum of targets and attributes as your primary when targeting universal heroes. Uh huh. Don't care. Nothing changed. Wind Waker buffed a lot. Nerf 20 movement speed. Sag. Mana. This is overall a pretty big buff, I would say. Sucks to lose movement speed for movement speed builds. But five seconds. Nerf, cheaper, one more damage. Someone make a meme about that on let it. Uh, total cost increased, magic resistance increased. Criminal grants invisibility, 40 movement speed and 300 magic damage barrier. So this is probably better early, worse later, potentially. Seems nice though. Hard to Tarask. Blah blah. Nerf Helmet Dominator. Nice. Nerf Helmet Overlord. Nice. Holy Locket. Recipe change. Nerf requires diadem. Blah 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 blah. Total cost unchanged. Don't really care about. No one gives bonus health. No one gives bonus mana. More stats. Energy charge now has a visual effects when used on allies. Is this better or worse? Who knows? Total cost unchanged. Less region. Less mana region. Now gives damage. Recipe cost decreased. Total cost increased. 
Ten more movement speed. Or two more movement. Two, 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 two. Valor. Call it a new thing. Valor. Call it increased. Duration decreased. Increased from five to six. Okay. Six or seven. Almost double movement speed. Version is shorter, but it's just more powerful, basically. Meteor Hammer Nerf, thank you. What do we got? 50 more golds. Uh, impact now slows enemies and hit by 20% of the for the full duration. Builder. Blah, blah, blah. Slows enemies hit by 20% for the full burn duration. Stun. Duration decreased by a lot. Okay, that's a pretty big nerf. Don't ruin Octarine Core, please. Uh, recipe change to Octarine's Perseverance, Soul Booster. Recipe, way cheaper. Okay, so they don't get any range anymore, Sag. Perseverance is cheaper. Armor movement speed, no problem. 45 minutes for the range heroes and 55 for melee heroes. I heard this uh, we'll patch is dedicated to Billy Harrington. Uh, once I start curing, little brother, thank you. Uh, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Recipe change. Uh, cornucopia, cornucopia. There's a lot of cornucopias. Alphrygian, blah, and also against damage. Less damage. Cheaper, less mana. Way less duration. Wow, that's a big nerf. That's also a big nerf for Tinker, because usually Tinker is like, they blink in, hex you, and then refresh, but, and then you have more time to like hide now and get out. NP Vitus is good against her. Uh, that looks like a spoiler, so I'm gonna give you a day ban. No spoiler, please. Moves faster. If the owner dies, would earn, having zero charge, now gains one. <laughs> nice. Item removed from game. Nice. Okay, what do you write about in your trolls? You get tokens, blah, blah, blah. You can select. Shareable. Cycled out. That was... Item re-added. Is this movement speed one? That's a good one. More slow. That provides 10% magic resistance. Uh, this one is broken now. Health bonus increased. Duration increase. Summer Cobalt is now controllable by the player that dug it up. Does it give vision? Spark of Courage. Or oh, you already saw these. Saw them. Cycle out, cycle out. Item removed from the game. GPM reduced by 5. Kick shook. Cobalt gives gold. Oh, it's that Cobalt. Re added. From tier 3 into tier 2. And just less values. Cooldown reduced by four seconds. To be fair, this active is fucking garbage. A garbage active. Lifting is creeping now is reduced by 50%. Blah, blah, blah. Buff 100 mana. Sure, no plus 150 attack range. Range shares only. Nice. Already saw, already saw, already saw. 2-2, two, two, slightly buffed, yeah, it's not that used. Mindbreaker is a great item. Buffed, 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 but it's tier 4. Never provides 25 movement speed. Uh, didn't it already? Or it didn't, maybe. No longer has an active. Passive bottle of lightning now hits up to 2 targets. Hmm. Seems like a good tank item. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Hero changes, and then it's over. We're almost there. Time to add a hero list. Uh, we had any hero that uh, we're not going to go over them closely. Anything that's significant. Like, who cares about strength in? Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Now, because of the damage barrier, uh, doesn't really change anything. Nothing to make them playable. 
Matchmaking question mark. Yeah, what about it? Uh, talent replaced Just with like 85 DPS per time emulation. Last night. Hmm. This guy's already on the list. We already checked him. Less done. Shard removed. Now deals damage per second to enemy units in the area, so you don't need to buy shard. Duration decreased, however. Cooldown increased. Wait, this is a pretty big buff. You cannot farm without buying shard. I'm adding Ronnie Coleman to the list. Ronnie Coleman mid. And shard. Enemies hit by ice by explosions are stunned with the current level of cold feet for 60% of its duration. Doesn't stun debuff immune enemies. Get a little stun. That's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, less health, more regen. Max mana burn per hit. Don't care. It's less, but the percentage is increased. That plays a slightly different sound when the target is below 50% mana. Also, you can hear when you hit someone. Nice. Cooldown. Worse. Level 1 and 2. Nothing new worthy. We already have him on the list. Axe. Duration nerfed. No longer pseudo random. Now triggers after a certain number of attacks taken. Shaw no longer increased proc chance. Now reduces the cooldown. Okay. Bane. Anything big. Base damage increased. D 4 to 10 damage. <laughs> damage on level 1 is decreased. Start the game already! Uh, Lalum, see you in 4 days. No longer reduces heal regen. Okay, it's changing in feeble again. Now deals pure damage per second. First thing the damage happens on application. Damage reduction is higher. Hmm. Up here is debuff immunity. No longer deal damage. Duration decreased. Hmm. Bane right click. What changed to make Bane a right clicker? Duration. No, bat. Okay, I don't. These are like whatever. 20 more movement speed. Uh, but nerfed. 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 Maybe buffed. Duration rescaled. Five second damage increased. Uh, too much takes. The only problem is bonus visions. Number of bonus movement speed. Way more damage, though. Way more damage. Total Medic damage increased. Jayden reporting for duty. Damage not takes every 0.5 seconds. Cast range increased. Duration decreased. It has like no duration now. It's so bad. Cooldown nerfed. Oh, okay. That makes it better. I disagree with you. Way shorter cooldown. Way shorter cooldown. Universal, blah blah, no one cares about your universal. Dive bomb, short roots, decreased. Roar nerfed. Jumps a slum, rework. Now a passive ability. Attack from Beastmaster or a nearby unit he controls causes him to bang his drum. Dealing damage to nearby units and healing himself and units under his control for a portion of the damage dealt. Every attack decreases the interval. The drum for a maximum of three seconds down to 0.4. That's when it attacks. If no attacks are made, the interval will gradually increase. Using proper armor adds 20 drum stacks based on primal roar. Okay, well, I don't know. Beastmaster right click ags. No one cares. Pure damage from Magnus Shard is not dealt separate. No one cares. Cooldown. Blood Mist. Now passive turns all your overheal from your own abilities into a damage barrier. Still not going to try it. No longer mini stunts. 
So wait, he cannot cancel teepees anymore? Is that good design? Anyone in chat? So you can't caught someone ratting and cancel their TP. Or uh, no longer disabled by silence. He said disabled by break. Tag no longer slows. Stunts. Okay, now you can still do it. Hey, Donger, are you still a virgin slash? Irish are no longer grants bonus charges. No longer cooldown. That's it. No longer cooldown by five. That's it. Ask your mom. Voice is now part of a basic ability. Too much text. Uh, spell me to replace with debuff. I have been with four different women in the last month. Damage not nerf, happy, blah, blah. It just seems like small rescaling. Nothing big worth talking about. Hairball, mana cost reduced. No price for with each quill spray released. Now provides warp of stacks. Oh, so if you're hitting the back, you get warp half stacks. Taking extra damage over the quill spray turtle is maintained, and multi multiple quill spray can trigger from a single sort of damage. Excuse me. Fuck brood. No one cares. Nerfed in lane. Less region. Base damage reduced. Less damage. Just overall nerfed. Pretty big nerfs this time around. I'd say three less health region. So you can harass her out. Stun nerfed. Cast point. Slightly change. Retaliate. Buffed. Nice. Don't care. Don't Cut care. the bullshit. Don't care. Now grants Shen gold equal to creeps bounty when dominating it. Wow. So you don't feel bad about taking creeps. We already read this guy. Now pass the magic bear to all uh, allied units in the power cogs. 200. Knockback nerfed. Knockback effect now interrupts most force abilities. Knockback effect now interrupts most forced movement abilities. With some exceptions, okay. Also slows uh, duration nerfed. Two more damage, quicker tick damage. Okay, okay, universal tick, slower. No reason to read this stuff. Uh, max damage is better level one. Allied units cannot target Dark Willow. Okay, when she's Shadow Realm, so you can like shield her. Curse Crown nerfed, changed. Plus two bad lemon attack Boss targets. Jam. Type the color red in chat right now. I've enabled it again. Dark Willow. Let's see if we can hit the same target we? multiple times. Oh, it has to be like this. Wait, what? The sooner we're out of here, the better. Is it bugged? Plus two attack targets. <laughs> what are I Jack? Go have Mark. some fun. What a hell of a team, Jex, aren't we? Is it even more? I can't even Jex, tell. Protect me. It is attacking faster. I Must think. I don't even know. I'll make you pay for this. We're going to have some fun, Jex. What, Jex? This one's all you. Forward. Let's see Go on, then. Do your work. I'm always on the a terrible talent. Smash stun nerfed. Uh, spell me to do with debuff. Uh, blah blah. Landing stun decreased. Uh, 25 talents. Remove this. I told you this is the worst design ever. Celestial cameras range speed. So speed is increased. This cooldown. Dawn. Yes, I watch furry port. Right. We did that, but now it's still so bad. It's way better though, it's way better. Uh, Hex nerfed. Now upgrade with Agnims. Oh, they fixed it finally. Allows casting Shadow Wave on enemies to release an inverse Shadow Wave. 
The inverse wave bounces amongst enemies, dealing damage to them and healing any nearby allies. Units for 100% of healing pog. and damage rows of Shadow Wave. Death will now also prevent auto attack on every enemy hit by this. Oh my god. Dazzle, Axe. Seems pretty abuse. Badger, you. Rework. Thank you, because it's the worst design ever. Whenever units affected by Dazzle spells, they temporarily gain such loose armor. Can be active to decrease the remaining cooldown of all other abilities by this and items. Casting Badger costs health. Each cast. Increase health cost by 50%. <sighs> no! Daza. Yes! What the fuck, man? I cast like a spell. Boom, boom. I cast it, reduce cooldown. The more I cast it, the more damage I take. Half cost increased per stack. Shadows come. Confirmed. Abuse with Midas. This might be a Midas hero. Midas? Question mark. Uh. Fear, no. Fear now deals more damage <laughs> to the target. Got to it. Back to yes. Shard worked. When cast on ground, Thumbtrake now lies dormant, not striking, for up to five seconds. If an enemy comes within the range, Thumbtrake attaches to the target. If an enemy comes within the range, he strikes the ground. Negative Shard also increases the number of strikes by two in cast range. Or oh, it's good again. Disruptor Shard. Mean max damage increased. Okay, they're nerfing it because it was way too good. In lane, blah blah blah, any high level talents. Nerf the stun, scepter rate is slightly increased. <laughs> <laughs> when other form applies cursive breath and frost breath effect corresponding to current form. What? Well, in Elder Dragon form, applies cursive breath or frost breath effect. I don't understand. Didn't it already do that? Oh, breathe fire, the spell. Oh, that's... Wait, what? It slows now. Seems like a huge buff. Needed, though, because that's a big nerf. I present no effect is now granted by Agnum Scepter instead of Agnum Shard. Uh, kick by farming. I present bonus damage increase. So it's basically just more powerful, I guess. Glacier, new ability got by Shard. Draw range creates a hill of ice beneath her, pushing enemies away from it. No. Everyone's guilty of something. Freeze. Oh, you get the high ground. I have the high ground. Can they even see me? They can't even see me. An arrow. Oh, they can't see me, but I have evade now. As the arrow flies. Uh, what's that? Any hell attackers gain ab attackers gain bonus attack rate and high ground advantage. Wait, what? Any unit that stands on the hill gains more range and high ground advantage. They cannot miss and gain flying vision. The front of the hill obscures vision. And can it be moved through? Stay out of the open. That reminds me, I'm not wearing underwear. Sides. Can they get up? Hello. A deer path. I gust on me. Time to move. Already Grabbing moving. It crossed my mind. Reap the whirlwind. <laughs> Where can they see me? Oh well. Uh, maybe we'll add a uh, draw shard, I guess, to try. Item shard, upgrade removed. Now gains one extra stone remnant every charge every fifth hero level. From seven up to max is okay. Don't care about this hero. Board damage against creeps. 
Stun nerf now upgraded by Ag Shark. Can now target allies. Uh, okay. Nerf stun, stun. Shunter cooldown reduced. Cool. Sleep duration decreased. Spell me to what I can accept uh, change. Nice. Space armor increased by one. Nice. To the meme. <laughs> Magic shot decreased. Now stacks it to the other. Okay. Item shot now also increased the maximum number of enchanted units from one to two. Well, it's not useless anymore. Uh. Talent enchant effects ancient replaced with 30% enchant creep health damage. Okay, shit. Less done. Less done. Duration. Nerf level 1. Or let nerf all level. Now freezes abilities and item cooldowns of anyone trapped. Now prolongs duration of time duration for units trapped. Ooh. That's a pretty nice buff. Trade office is less is slightly shorter. You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. See so you, Boxod. Uh, that's done. Nothing big. Illusion is now strong illusion. Spell me replaced with debuff and massive magic resistance. Uh. Okay. 65 damage. This build is better with Eblay now. Or Halberd. Homie missile. Less done. Coolon. It's a little longer. I think too big. One more attack. Slightly longer duration. Maybe he's back to carry. Sun duration nerfed. That's the brush I increase. love lollies. Item shot no longer allows to cast in a shield while disabled. Spending while leaping replaced with debuff immunity. Nerf. Item shot up here removed. Effect move to level 20 talent. Now up here by item shot. Multiply burn damage by 1.5x. Like Make you pull enemies units into the center. Nice. Nice. With Agrium Scepters, uh, the ability can now be activated to explode the spirits, after which they begin spawning. Cooldown is decreased by 50%, cannot be activated if the ability is on cooldown. It didn't understand anything, oh, and I don't care. Oh, in my mouth. All the way. Damage penalty against buildings, but does more damage. No longer plays a mini stun. One more damage. Spell will be replaced with debuff immunity and eight of the magic resistance. I s debuff immunity, so you cannot stun them? Or what is. I don't still don't get it. Colon decreased. Duration increased. Nice. Read it, please. Deep of stick. Yeah, I've read it already. And it was complicated. Oh, hell no. Now I basically build it as another current spirit form. Uh, yes, yes. Don't care about this here. I'll slow you per units. What is this ultimate now? There's a perma bank coming soon. No longer uh, disabled by silence. Is that uh, okay? That's nice. Stun duration nerfed. Now has a target area with 900 cast range and 1100 radius. So it's not around you. 
The race is nerfed. Plus Mario buffed by one Yahoo. Over from Leos, now an area of effect that builds center around the hero. Now long provides bonus move speed and instead provides a flat attack speed bonus. That, requires, that doesn't require the ability to hit any enemies. Radius increased, not a bit of a trigger upon uh, the dual cast if not on cooldown. Can now be cast during duel. I'm sure duration decrease. Hmm. No longer increases attack speed, instead provides 22% movement speed bonus. Duration decreased by a lot. Well, not a lot, a little. Any car, pog, talent spell immunity, blah, blah, blah. Less stun, nothing too big here. Less slow. No one cares on a non ancient creep, it deals 2x damage, deals. That's longer, deals 250 damage per second. You can farm. Spell meter effects with debuff immunity. One more da one more armor, do the meme. Let's stun. Only cast range. Now grants max fire soul activation on activation. Uh that seems pretty nice. Do some Lena eggs, I guess. Lena eggs. Stop it. More damage. That's done. Player speed increased by a lot. Well, that's a lot. Let me see. It's easy to click around now. Where's the range? So, normally, this range is here. Uh, cast range buffed, duration nerfed by a lot. Spell immunity with I'm sure replace it debuff. Now, Universal Hero. Nice. Duration decreased. Uh, attack speed decreased. Wait, this is a massive nerf. This is just nerfs. I'm not going back pro, guys. There you have it. That's done. Attack bonus. Allies decreased. You will now receive 200% of the attack bonus. <laughs> How is that valid? Okay. Give it some Luna. It doesn't give her way more damage. You Luna, my pride. Let me skill is level one. And was it changed the values? Oh, it is. Okay, fuck it then. You're out. Twenty-five blessing nerfed. Uh, universal no one cares. Mana cost cheaper. Morgan. Mana cost cheaper. Now also fears enemy controlled units, non heroes. How now fear is not global at night? Okay. What the fuck? Magnus! Less mana. Mana cost decreased. Upgrade removed. Now upgrade by Agnum Shard. Increase range. Wave speed. Cause Shockwave to return towards the caster. Yep! Hitting enemies a second time. So the eggs. It eggs are so bad. Uh, stun duration in decreased. Now, Shaw Hortos is eggs. Stuns instead of slowing. Damage increased. To pay so much gold for that now. It is a Magnus as well, I guess. Universal Hero, impact damage increased. Scales better, bigger radius. No, oh, that's a Dispose. Standard nerfed. Maximum jump is increased. Huh? I'm sure no longer allows setting the ability on out. That allows more to jump off an enemy and provides her with... Boon what the fuck? This seems so bad now. Not... No. See no evil. Wait, what the fuck changed? Max minimum jump distance. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Oh, so I can jump closer. Oh, that's a buff. That's a buff. I can jump on top of someone. Uh. 
So if you get shot, now allows Marcy to jump off enemies and provide her... Oh, so she's a carry now again. Provides her movement speed bonus. Agam Scepter also silences. Okay, pretty big buffs. Marcy. Oh, there's a Marcy. Axe, shard. A lot of heroes were unplayable without BKB. Like Marcy, mid, without BKB was like unplayable. Now no one buys it. Final oh! Beast, mid, was unplayable oh! without BKB. Now it's playable. Uh, we'll look at the light talents. Uh, yeah. Let's start. Let's start. Pretty big nerfs. Mana cost decreased. We already read this one. Poof, cannot become them autocast. If the ability is set in autocast state, when cast on target, other meeples also cast poof to if target you're automatically. Twitch as a non donating non sub. Guys on the ground, reaching. all meeples except the selected poof. Huh? No! Agnum Shard up here removed. Now granted by Agnum Shard. Duration nerfed. Okay, so still instant. Okay, this is still fine. Mega Meepo. New ability granted by Agnum Scepter. Hey, what's cooking? First of all, yep. so if I'm like, do, do, do. Oh, hey! What'd you have in mind? Like it. Okay. Poof. Uh huh. If I'm like going on someone, like you hit him. Okay, this is way yeah, easier to play. Right out here. Got my wind up but red. if I get agonims, like I become mega meeple. Ah, scepter. Yep, yep. Which does hashtag Dora underscore two tip? Blink! Blink, you fucking idiot! What is wrong with you? Um, primary Meepo mounts all other Meepos in second radius on top of him. While in this form, he gains 50% of modern Meepo stats and can fling them at enemies, dealing damage and slowing. While active, Earthbind... While active, Earthbind generates additional nets and poof deals bonus damage based on the amount of Meepos riding on the top. Casting Dig cancels Meep Mega Meepo. Hmm. If you say so. That seems very poggers. Yep. See ya. Right away. That's a lot of confusion though. I think it's very hard to play without practice. We'll add it. Uh Star Storm. That's mana. That's mana. They didn't nerf the stun. May the blessings Shard of Allah now does not break Moonlight Shadow in this ability. occasion of Eid. Wishing you a very happy Eid Moonlight. Right Shard ability can Brother now be Dawn. put on autocast to make it ground and vector target ability. Allowing you to choose a distance. Okay, they finally buffed it. Why are we still here? Pretty garbage Shard. Just to suffer. Look out for us, any say again? Need to hurry. So now, if I'm autocast... Go! Oh, that's... Go, Sagan! It's actually a yeah, good shot now. But it might actually be broken now. Moving. Might be too good now. NGL, NGL. And Wait, can you just go like this? How much damage is it? Damage increase as well. Oh, that's old patch. This is a Mirana Shard Abuse. Abuse can abuse. That's done. More lifesteal. More damage. Two charges replaced with zero cooldown. And one less hit required. One more strength. But every hero spawns with 80 less health. Uh, shard bonus to get move to add up to strike. Blah, blah, blah. Now gains bonus agility. Okay, so you get the stats from those. Agnes of the now steals an additional 20 of all stats when targeting universal heroes. Okay, or the red this. Base health region nerfed. Can now target sleeping units without Agnum Scepter. 
That's a pretty big buff. Earth in lane, channeling is now interrupted. We're talking the spells. No one used really in any way. 25 talent, one less attack required. Profit nerfs. Cooldown. One more. Mana cost increased. Cooldown increased by a lot. What the fuck? 20 to 35. <laughs> Rip identity of hero. After teleporting, Ninja Prince gains. 12 stacks of bonus attack damage. What? Gains 12 stacks of bonus attack damage. 6 damage per stack. So you would get 72 damage. Every attack turns a stack of attack damage into a stack of getting armor. What the fuck? Duration nerfed. Damage significantly nerfed in lane. No one provides bonus damage per unit killed. This seems like some massive nerfs. <laughs> As you TP in, you attack with good damage, and then you gain armor. 12 armor. Nice! Slow. No one cares. Death Seeker will work. Necrophor turns into a fast moving large death pulse flying towards the target. <laughs> As they reach the set percent, the death pulse spreads to nearby enemies and allies. That seems pretty good. Any Necro enjoyers? I'm way ahead. I can even cast some teammates, I guess. Seems like a pretty big buff. Can be worse in some scenarios, I guess, but overall seems better. Scepter upgrade reworked. Marks it. Oh no, that was a good axe. Night Stalker. Night time is my time. Axe. What becomes the target of an area of effect ability? <sighs> Grace immunity duration and leaves uh, behind a void zone. While in the void, uh, while in the zone, all of Night Sacred abilities are empowered with the night effect. I so not using night. Not this again. You're not using during night anymore. Oh, you kind of are, but night it's usable. Comes for you. Night's procession, curse it, dawn. On it. Do you hidden fog? On the hunt. Um. All dice didn't hit fog units, I think. It seems decent. It seems decent. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Now deals damage. Uh, I'll start of being impaled instead of landing. I guess the same for Lion? Was it the same for Lion? No? So it's better for Burst, I guess. First time chat, play game. Uh, if you're really excited to watch the new patch, uh, one, you can play yourself, or two, you can check another streamer. So I'm gonna finish this and I'm almost done, little bro. Uh, less stun, new basic ability. Mind Flare, deals damage to the target equal to 5 of his hit, plus 30% of damage dealt by Nyx to the target in past 15 seconds. What the fuck? And then another one's future of the target's max one on hit. What the fuck? Is this here just busted now? Isn't this here already really good? No. Come on, mana burn. But it doesn't burn mana anymore, okay. Okay, that might be a big nerf then. Enemies need killing. Or does it? No, it doesn't burn mana anymore. Additional damage equal to a percentage of uh, damage. So if I go like this, so you obviously go like this. Da di di da da. Uh, no, no, they gone. We cannot see. 
Do do do. And then here it comes. Boom. 555. Forward. Put out the buff. So if we do this. Boom. Touch no more. Your thoughts are silence. Shard, uh, yep. Seems kind of nuts. So I'm going to add it to the list. Nick's ass. Uh, I'm not going to buy eggs still. Mana burn, blah, blah, blah. Already red ogre. Degen aura removed. No more degens. No more degens. Uh, now upgrade my shard. Allows Omni to be healed for 30% damage dealt by purity. Every 6 seconds, Omni's next attack automatically fires hammer purity. Wow, they made him also a right clicker. Finally. Fucking finally. Omni shard. Double check. So if I go like this. If I hit, it does not go on cool. I'm gonna go like this. Dunk, dunk. Right? I have it. Dunk, dunk. Nice. Axe nerfed. Not only does also have enemies, not only provides medicines to allies. Global uh, cooldown reduced or increased. Wait, hold up. So you don't need to use your braid anymore. You can just use it on a teammate. They go on your teammate. No. Your carry runs in. You click it on him and you don't have to worry about disarming him. Use an enemy to disarm. Use a teammate to give medic resistance. Much easier to use. Before, you did like, oops, I cast on my teammate and now he's disarmed. My bad, lul. So overall, a big buff, but that's three seconds long cooldown. Shard. Move to Agnum Scepter. Grants fade time invisibility to target walls. Improved bat. Oh my god. Forward much. Uh, the fuck is his hero name? Oracle. The blind Oracle in the omniscience. Is this it? Is this the max abuse build? If you insist. Whatever you say. Uh, so normally, Come on, boss. my legendary build. 13. And what if I don't? You attack fast with this. Point zero nine. <laughs> DPS fourteen hundred. You got it. Roughly fourteen hundred. Without it, we barely greet DPS. As I'm not ready. Seems that seems very nice if you get it on your carry or Oracle. Plus spell lamp as well. Now granted by item shard. Nice. You have to pay a third. Outward devourer, item shard, scepter upgrade removed. Instead of double charge. Now upgrade by shard, or eggs, I mean. Damage that brings under uh, below 20% health triggers a strong dispel. Okay, so uh, I'm hit and I blow 20. Strongly spell. Additionally, Outward Devourer consumes all of his mana to provide a damage bear equal to 50 max mana. Now deals damage to all units. Treats the units without a mana pool as if they have zero. No. Wait, do teammates as well? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, please. What the fuck are you called? Outworld. Wait, you can hit your own teammates? Oh my god, thank you. Nice. Big nerf on that spell. If I get Ags, like, oh no, he's coming to kill me. I'm dying, guys. Your name is not in I take wing. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Shield and a strong yes. spell.
Darkness advances. How good is that really? That means you can insta W yourself. But did I use all my mana? Or did I use my mana? Or use your mana? Wait, I don't have the effect. Consumes all of his mana. Wait, what the fuck do you do then? Yes. So you survive, but you have no mana, which means you're useless. On dark wings. Q. Q At is free. Gold. True. There's no indication when it's ready. That's a good game design, I think. Me, if I design, I'd be like, maybe a little bar, maybe something to indicate when it's ready. Fair It'd be pretty poggers. Is it raining arrows? So now I'm like, oh, a hit, but I don't proc. Cool on some E. Oh, there it is. It is there. Good, good design. Seems kind of nice. Uh, I don't want to play OD though. I, uh, well... Maybe. Yes. Can you actually kill your teammates, so... though? Wait, what? What do you do damage? I deal damage to all enemies. You heard him. Yes. That's misleading. It says all you did. Sun rises. Pepeg. Wait, hold up. So it says all units, I and I'm the Pepeg. Bad news. It should say all enemy units. All units includes your own, the enemy. It includes all. That's why it's all. All means everything. You understand how all means? If you want to say all enemy units, I'll be like, oh, that make, that's good wording. All means everyone. So anyone who type Pepeg, you are the Pepeg. Damage, nerfed, mana cost, slightly better, less done. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So well, you can stun him in Rolling Thunder. Doesn't this ruin the hero? Uh, I don't read 10 talent, it's not impactful, but what? 25, Conan, okay. You can't. I have been with four different women in the last month. The wife's Keep not happy, but what can I well, say? People said Jagger could be stunned. People said Jagger could be stunned. Okay. Based on percentage, what? Okay, whatever. We'll learn when we play. Uh, attack range increased because he got a long la He's got a lance. A lance is a long range weapon, so he's got longer range now. Agnum Shard, which was to bounce, moved to Scepter. Spin Light now bounces twice on enemies, part of heroes, can bounce back to the original target, also increase slow amount by 10, and spread illusion damage by 40. Okay, this is probably arguably the worst axe in all of Dota. Do we have enough for us? <laughs> okay, so you go like this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Bonus that illusion damage. Is absolute dog shit. Is that only on those illusions? This one is for 22. This one hits. It's only these spawn by that hit very hard. That seems pretty abuse. Peel adds. And now the shard adds an active ability. Wait, did change? <laughs> we agree. Oh my god, it's an old one. Oh my god, no, not Invis Peel again. Not only does he have illusions, which is yes. fucking cancer, he's got Invis and illusions. Oh hell no. Renders Phenomenon invisible for 8 seconds while generating a duplicate image. With the enemies, his move speed is increased as ordered. Oh, such an AIDS hero! This hero is now 
It's not nerfed. It's not nerfed. Is this hero playable? So I never played this hero mid because you need BKB on this hero. So maybe it's playable now. Cast point decreased. Blah, blah, blah. Max charge just changed values a bit. No longer reduced by damage block. Cast point decreased. So that seems pretty impactful. <laughs> Uh, now appears this debuff immunity, hit damage decreased, stun nerfed, cooldown, stun duration nerfed, no longer reduced by damage block. Maybe it's time to try some primal beast mid. Spell immunity replaced with cannot be rooted or slow during trample. Oh, so you just need that. Uh, yes, I'm a shard now. Passive against adds 20 medic damage to Puck's attacks. Okay. Mana cost decreased. Item scepter removed. Okay, this was a terrible axe as well. Less stun. Axe. All items within my dream call are attacked by Puck every 0.6 seconds. Attacks originate from the dream call center. I do not require Puck to be nearby. Finally. Puck eggs right click. Finally, they fixed it and be playable. Project has speed increased. Now can be heard in Fog of War. Oh, hell no. It's faster. I'm getting too old for this. It's already hard enough to dodge it. Okay, that's noticeably faster. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah. So if you're farming, you hear this insta blink, I guess. This patch may have changed a lot, but you're still washed up. Uh, less damage. Nerf Alex a bit. Cast range increased. I mod Arch and instantly abuse it. That's shameful, Arch. Hey, my cast range increased, duration decreased. It's almost over. My tongue is hurting. When talking to allies or self, no longer increase magic damage taken. Instead, provides incoming heal amp. Ah. Heals for allies is no longer based on damage dealt by life drain. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? I accept your scheme of pain emitted from search and also expires. Explain also the damage enemies. I accept the scheme of pain a bit. From sure I'm explain also damage the target. Oh, that's pretty big. Cop axe is back. Uh, Magnetism partner used to reduce healing you to allies. The man Hold is on. killing us, man. Oh, my Nerfed in laning search by a lot. Better later by a little. Uh, 25 talents. Second pass final deals 70 of the damage. Nerfed. Sleeping on it removed. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, smoke shooting axe now. Enemies in the smoke shooting have their armor reduced by 7 and cannot be targeted by their allies. Hmm. But can you play this here as a support now, though? The dart was everything. This is a really good shard, though. <laughs> but any in. This patch is very good. Please commend Valve for their hard work. They have deserved Daisy, it. Daisy Alpha, thank you. I've not played it yet, so we'll see. Arco can't ult team is inside Rick's work. Yes, that's what's so good about it. They cannot be saved. They're on their own. Mid Ricky Ogwen. I would play this here mid though. Coconut gives the experience bonus for kills and assists. Bonus experience? How much does this matter? Lift and stun nerfed. Nerfed. Stun nerfed. Now applies the current level of cut finale to enemy heroes even without Agnum Scepter. Okay. 
Removed sandstorm lava that has eggs. Every point per second creates two six five radius rows like spines at random locations. Each one stuns enemies. Huh? Sand King eggs. Lightning. Will you go back to throw on this new patch? Oh, we excellent. all believe you could no grab us. Yes. Boom. Right, do do do. On it. Just walk away from it. Um. Seems pretty aids to fight in this. Already moving. <laughs> Just kind of random though. He's pretty good. Disseminate. Cooldown decreased. Purge damage increased. Now it actually scales. Probably the worst scaling ultimate in game. Now it actually has more damage. Less charges. Blah blah. No longer slow turn rate on hit. Rip Shadow Fiend. So a lot of changes. And Mango Nerf was huge. Upgraded Blink was huge. Shattering or turn hit, pretty big. Static loss on death decreased. Okay, item shard fear duration nerfed. Uh, enemy, every enemy here killed near should have been further improves the arm reduction by two for 20 seconds. Duration is refreshed for each hero kill. B shrug. Wow, this is some big nerfs. Rip Shadow Fiend, I guess. Wow! And they also didn't fix the shard. So when you have Mask of Madness, shard, have it on all cast, it doesn't work. Shame. I had no souls. I don't think it matters. So did it? This one fix right? Mask of madness. Fair enough. This one works. No souls. Okay, let's see if it works. So out of us is inconsistent and it's bad design. Shard. Shard. I want someone's soul. I want you to fuck my wife. I prefer men. Have a soul? Put an auto? It doesn't work. That's inconsistent. That's shame on him. Shame. Uh, Shadow Fiend is giga nerfed. No mango abuse. No blink abuse. This seems big. More targets. Less duration. To compensate, one second less. Way less duration. Big nerfs. Are you something along with this separate wars range? What the fuck? He does not have mangoes, but you, but you does not have a lot of region too. Um. Now I'll leave behind a debuff for 5 seconds and increase uh, spell life against the target. Okay, this hero should be good now. Sky Wrath with the new item. Sun duration decreased. Blah, blah, blah. Less done. Less damage early. Cast range decreased. Seems fair. Less done. Less done. Less done. Damage increased by... They buffed this shard so many times. No longer going to our reservation. The attack must now land to do for this uh, to do damage. Okay. I am sure up here reworked. It allows to activate dispersion. Increase the damage reflected by it by 100%. Or increase the outgoing damage. Doesn't negate uh, the incoming damage. Blade mid plus a shard. Can't die. Vector, shard, blade mail, abuse. Less done, less done. 
self magnificence increased. Still, uh, maybe it's decent now. Bigger radius, less stun. Uh, less damage, less stun. Cleave is better and it provides strength. Cooldown duration increased. Agnus have to upgrade move to Agnum Shard. Effect is unchanged. The Axe was so bad, they reduced the cost by like 60% and it's still the same. Wait, what? Really? I'm sure I removed. No longer silence enemies. Now stuns. This might... The silence was like 6 seconds silence. Magic reduction, but you have no sex independently. Mind feels line. Cast time increased from 1 to 2. And after my eggs, increased effect rate is to 1000. There's the 4 minutes. When an enemy here gets within 200 units of the sign, the entire 1000 radius becomes a minefield for 10 seconds. Enemy will take 300 damage every 200 unit move. Oh, hell no. First of all, so I do this, it gives him a debuff. Oops, sorry. It keeps adding, doesn't refresh. So that's way more damage. Shard. Can we get some allies? Still don't know if you buy the shard. Quit arguing. Ags. Of course. Do C do to F. Wait. <laughs> Good day to fight. Cuts <laughs> oh my god. So much for peaceful applications. Whenever it works within 200 units of the minefield, so I have to get very close. And they don't see it. My is destroyed after effects. Uh, do they see it? Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. Entire radius become minefield for 10 seconds. Enemy units will take their damage every. So it's basically Bloodseeker ult. Mindful area is visible to enemies once activated. Hey, Bulldog. I went out and we are still it's reading cool the patch note without playing the game. Keep up the good work. You can rival Purge for patch note reviews. Alato will be very happy fat clap. Yes. Yes. Increase range. Now trap ability can, uh, can be set to autocast mode. In this mode the ability springs trapped uh, that is close to the cursor. Okay, don't care. That's less attack speed. Buff short, no one buys, fear reduce. Cooldown. Nerfed. Less mana. Later. Bonus damage. Less stun. Shocker max removed. Now activated by Agnum Scepter. Can be activated again. Max decks. And 200 barrier. Should I take this actually? Timber. Max X to the uh, HP barrier. The, this barrier gains 100 health per second. Increases by 75 health per second for each enemy hero within the radius of timber. So up to a maximum of 800. That's the kind of illusions. After 8 seconds, timber loses the barrier and deals damage to every hero within 600 radius equal to 200 plus the remaining HP. Blah, blah, blah. It's broken. It looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That looks a pretty good shard. No. Timber saw. <laughs> well, it's not an axe. So like, do do do. Oh no, they're going on me, but I can eat. Nice shards. Yes. Giddy up. What the fuck? Into wars, T. Tear out the damage to every hero within 16 radius, equal to 200. 
plus the remaining barrier. The barrier increases. Is there a max suit? Back from 800. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. What's the cooldown on this? 45 seconds. It only increases anatomy. Close to heroes. And uh, anatomy. And that seems uh, very broken. Tinker. Basically, it increased by four. Agility increase. Can't blink anymore. This here is very sad now. Cast range nerfed. Damage buffed. Can't stand in fountain as easily anymore. Rip, Tinker. Cooldown nerfed in any stage. Thank you, because this fucking thing. Uh, laning is tiny. It's so annoying. Toss. Nerfed laning stage. Bonus armor buffed. Bonus damage buffed. Then it provides bonus damage to tree grab. Okay. No one cares. No one cares I can use items during this effect. Okay. That's nice. That's pretty nice. That's done. Slower. Mana cost. No one cares. Duration rescaled. Cool done. And less. And dying eggs. You get off my back. I'm in the middle of something. Mom, seriously. Cool on. Seriously. Incarnate replaced with. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. Allows up to one ally here to bunker inside the tombstone. Ally can bunker by pressing right mi uh, mouse button on the tombstone while in close. Bunker and units cannot leave the tombstone for three seconds after entering. Units that left the tombstone cannot re enter it for three seconds. If an ally decides to enter the tombstone while another ally is inside, the ally is forcefully evicted. And Dying also receives the grab ally ability, which bunkers a hero to the nearest tombstone. <clears throat> what? Eject. Eject. Who disturbs the dead? Yes. Okay. We're gonna get doot dee doot dee. Ah, beware the like I'm out. Can't go in, it's bugged. Silent, like smoke. Wait, did I not buy it? Oh, it's charged. <laughs> Little W. Beware. See here. Go on. Feel free to go in! Go in! I can't go in. It's bugged. Nice. Guys, you should be able to right click it. I'm sure they'll fix that, so I'm uh, misunderstanding. Why are you just gonna leave? Oh, you're supposed to be able to right click it. I like a bunker by pressing the right mouse button. I clicked it. Click right mouse button. I'm clicking. I'm uh, fucking clicking. The dead. Uh, what else? Less done. Less aura. Pierce battle immunity to 40. Another swap damage reduction. Ooh. Oh, hell no. This one is my dying. Uh, Poison Nova, now a passability granted by Agnum Scepter. New ultimate ability. Okay, let's do this easy first. Spell duration nerfed. Duration instead of the damage, which is definitely way better. Attack speed replaced with... Okay. Venom. Venomancer. Okay, so have a new ability. Mm. 80 second cooldown. Infects an enemy with a deadly plague that does an initial burst damage. And additional damage over time based on unit's maximum health. The plague slows target and nearby enemies based on their distance to the target. The target dies or the expires. All nearby enemies are infected with a non-communicable 
version. Okay. Yes. A the passive. Acceptor. When Venom Venomers dies, with the effect of Venomous Gale and prematurely on an enemy hero, a spreading ring of poison erupts. Enemies hit by the poison will take non lethal damage, magic damage over time. What? It doesn't do anything. Venom. I gust onward. I'm under attack. Since you put it like that. As you say. 4,000 gold for something that might not even do anything. Axe charges. Hopefully to dispel this so it explodes. Let's <laughs> it stack. To battle. My venom. We can only hit on one target as well. Hmm. You know, death triggers it. I don't know. I don't know about this. Back to the 10 seconds. Board. Max space is 30 percent max damage. Max resistance reduction. We'll try it, I guess. Uh, Vino, Ags, Aids, Cast Range increased by a lot. Nice. Don't care, don't care. That's stun. Polarization nerfed. Now it's like digitally without a source of physical barrier. Shard removed. This was AoE. Shadow Word. Stunration nerfed. Shadow cooldown with damage. Really with AoE. Okay. So what is the shard? Warlock. Best thing is just test. Imps spawn the imps of hell. Little imps are coming. Short after dying, a burst of magic damage based on the max health of the imps is dealt. At my command. So worthless? Uh, you th you're wrong. Watch out, warlock spawns an imp every two seconds. An imp, i.e., your model of your golem. So it's. Shush. Normally you'd be like, oh, they. The new model? No, it's just your golem. Which apparently is an imp. Now that is lazy. That is lazy. Sorry, so if they die... Right. Oh my god, there's so much damage. Consort with shadows. And expose... Uh, and expose dealing damage to all enemies around them upon death. So if you kill it, that's not bad. Dies. That seems good. Warlock Ag uh, Shard. Weaver, one more armor, do the meme. Uh, item shard. Mark, there's a, oh, that's, yes. New hit. Cooldown decreased. No longer disable for silence. This cooldown. Improved pretty good consistency. Nice. Now always shackle the closer target behind the unit shackled. Failed Sunderation decreased. And all those well. Uh, damage increased by a decent 20 more. Agam Shard no longer blinds enemies. Used to apply for the enemy's chance. Agam Shard now also reduces physical damage taken. So you kind of can't die. So you buy. You click E. They buy MKB, they kill you. You buy Ags. They have MKB, you still take 50% less damage. Don't think I'll add it to the list though. Nope. Splinter Project, Speed, Curse Duration nerfed, Base Damage increased, Stun nerfed, Stun Duration nerfed, Lifesteal increased. By a lot. Half versus creep. Scale now deal 35 less damage buildings. Crit. Scales better. Cooler rescaled by a lot. Yikes. Cannot be cast by Rev King on himself to die and resurrect if he was had the necessary resources. 
So you can kill yourself. Now always spawn skeletons so you attack each nearby hero when reincarnated triggers. Shard still adds 3 extra. I have a scepter now also does cooldown by 40 and respawn time of every hero dying under this effect by 10%. What? Also, just cool number and respawn time of every hero. You increase enemy respawn? Wait, what the fuck does this even mean? Are these your teammates? You respawn first. People are talking about peg, but I'm seeing like five different res five different explanations in chat right now. So clearly it's uh, poorly worded. So is there anyone actually who knows exactly? Reduce friendly respawn times. Yes, so you and your friends spawn times and faster. So if you die like 80 seconds, like eight seconds less. So on average, you reduce your respawn time by five to eight ish. It's over. Zeus static field removed. Damage nerfed. Now also deals current max enemy health. Mini stun nerfed. Now always moves Zeus forward. Nice. No longer increase enemy cast time. New passive ability. Granted by shard. Increase Zeus attack range by 100. Zeus attack creates an arc lightning that deals 50% of its damage. Finally. Zeus, right click. And the talents, nothing of relevance. Final. We've reduced the number of roll queue tokens granted when you lose an all rolls selected match. Now you'll earn two tokens for a loss. This change should help smooth out player behavior around ranked roles, where farming tokens sometimes takes precedence over playing an assigned role effectively. We removed Captain's mode from ranked and cut all random and all random deathmatch from unranked. Almost no one plays these modes and queue times easily exceed one hour. This update removes the legacy model editor. All VMDL files will now load in the new tool, and old models will be converted when you first load them in the tool. We will release a subsequent update to completely remove support for loading the old compiled format. So we encourage all workshop authors to load and convert their models to the new format and recompile them ASAP. We've removed support for the legacy hold animation key from dynamic props. Custom games should either manually switch to the new loop mode key or recompile their maps in order to automatically upgrade those properties. Remember to click the subscription button, but that's not good enough. You gotta click the bell. Click the bell. You gotta also click the bell and thumbs up.